All right, Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Blessed to the elect of Yahshua Allah. Salutations and blessings to you, I came out there and doing this truth across the four corners of the earth and looking forward to the downfall and destruction of Babylon, also known as America today. Uh, got a special guest in the building, you know, Brother uh, Micah Allah, down from uh, Dallas, you know, hey, Texas. Shalom. Shalom, brothers. Yeah, uh, you know, the brother, the Lord had it to where he was able to come through. We didn't get the link up last night. So, hey, hey, by faith, we, we pray, right? I threw up a prayer, which this lesson is going to be over that. It's going to be over faith, uh, about faith. I threw up a prayer last night, and I really meant what I said because I felt bad that I was doing something at the time to where we couldn't link up. And I'm like, man, just have it to where, you know, it can happen today. And the brother hit me up like, hey, I'm here in town still to this time. So the Lord had it to where it happened, you know. So um, we actually going to start out right here in Hebrews 11 and 6. All right. It says, uh, but without faith, is it impossible to please him? For he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hmm. You know, if anybody want to. Yeah, he says uh, you have to believe that he is, meaning that he has control, man. You know, that, 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 that's the name of the Lord. His name is Yahweh. He is. He To be, he exists. He, he just is. And with that understanding, it's a, it's a trickle-down effect that he has everything in, in, in total control. And also, just to expel on that control, guess what? He's going to take care of his elect. God. You know, a lot of times, well, I, I know this is from my experience of being able to travel around and meeting different brothers and fellowship with different brothers, man. These brothers, man, the brothers have it down packed with having that contract heart. They understand that, you know, it takes humility in order to please the Heavenly Father. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of times, you know, uh, we, we don't have that balance. And it talks about having a false balance. is an abomination with the Most High. You can have, you know, too much fear in which there are two different fears, man. If you read in Proverbs 1, uh, in six, it says the fear of the Lord is is beginning of knowledge. But then on the flip side, it says in what Second uh, Timothy, I, I want to say uh, is it one and six? Uh, it says that uh, uh, basically going into uh, fear is not of the Most High. Well, what does that mean? Well, well there's two different type of fears, man. God. The, the Most High has not given us a spirit of fear. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, God. yeah, yeah. That's what I. Was, yeah, yep. You see. So what does that tell you? Well, you have to have balance within your fear and your your fear of your how about me how shot. You have to know that guess what, man, I'm I'm trying to do what's right. Yes, I'm I'm making mistakes, but at the same time the most high is gonna bless me, man. And he's gonna see us through the times that's coming. You see? Okay, so I got yeah, it. Go ahead, bro. It's wisdom of Solomon chapter three and verse nine. It says they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. Mm. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he hath care for his elect. That's right. You know? <laughs> so just like the brother was saying, you know, hey, we're, we're in the times where that faith is going to be what we want to stand on, man. Of course, with the works as well, but that faith, hey, like, like the brother brought out in Hebrews 11 and 6, he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. We believe that the, the, the words in these, the, uh, this book to be true. We believe that Heavenly Father, is, as it says in Sirach 18 and 1, is the creator of all things. You know, we have faith in that. That's why we're not uh, making haste in time of trouble. Uh, the times that we're living in is the time of trouble. You know, and those that trust in Yahweh Shem Yahweh are not going to be shooken off of the foundation, man. I got to go. You know? I got to get that since you, <laughs> since you brought it up through the Spirit. <clears throat> this is uh, Matthew 7 and 24. It says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Now, who is our rock? The Heavenly Father, man. The Heavenly Father is our rock, okay? It reminds me of the story of the three little pigs. You know, he huffed and puffed and blew the other houses down, but that, that brick, you know what I'm saying? That hard, solid foundation, he, he couldn't blow it down, 
All right. It's the same with us, man. Because that rain descending and those floods coming and the wind blowing is all of these things that we about to start going through, man. We've been going through a little bit of it, okay? But as the Lord, what did he say in, um, oh, was that Second Ezra 9, I believe, at the end? Can we get that, Baba Uh It should be like 9 and 7 or something like that. All kinds of shit. Speak. Yeah, uh, he said uh, those that escape by their their works and their faith, but it's also one, I think, in 15. I want the other one first. Where he talk about at the end, he's going to manifest his works and wonders. Is that in the same chapter? Kind of, yeah, it's uh, verse 5. Okay, start there, Karate. <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, 2 Major chapter 9, verse 5. For like as all that is made in the world has a beginning <clears throat> and an end. Yep. And the end is manifest. And is, the end is manifest, man. Mm. Okay, everything has a beginning and everything has an end. All right, y'all go back in history, y'all look at all these empires and rulers and, and everything that, that had their rulership and dominion, but it ended. What's so different about America? It makes no difference. Here it is, the Lord destroyed Babylon, Egypt, uh, uh, <clears throat> Sodom and Gomorrah, all right, the Greeks, the Romans, all of that, and America is all of that tied up. So why wouldn't this place be destroyed? All right, but we have an understanding through him that he's saving the best for last. All right, now, now that second Ezra 6 is going to come to pass with Jacob holding the hill of Esau, man. And by Yahweh by Shem Shai, by putting his word out there and being faithful in it, all right, that's what's happening. Yeah. Okay, sending up them prayers, sending up them curses, okay, sighing and crying. All right, all of that now the thing is manifesting because what? We're at the end of the end, man. All right. Go ahead. Out. Even so, the times also of the highest had plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and wonders and power. You ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah, you got people over in this country and that country and this city and that city recording chariots. Those is far away. Them is just lights disappearing. Yes, it's, it, it is fascinating, but you're going to actually start seeing things, man. The chariots, you, gonna, you, you ain't going to deny it. You ain't going to be able to deny it. All right, the Lord gonna really start showing His work. All right, different creatures can come up. They they just be discovering creatures. Like here it is, Esau think he owned the world, and you still discovering stuff. Like you never will be the Most High. That's never gonna happen. All right, but he got Esau blinded by his wickedness, thinking that he's gonna actually fulfill his, his purpose, man. Well, he is gonna fulfill his, the Lord's right. purpose. You know, <laughs> that's the only purpose he gonna fulfill, man. Go ahead. I, yeah, that's why I said you can't do nothing against the truth before the truth. That's what he saw too, because mm -hmm. he's he's fulfilling his role. You know, as the scriptures say, the scriptures um, tell us that you know, roughly paraphrasing, he's gonna play his role. He, Satan has a, he has a role to play too. Man. Yep. yep. You know, that's why he was set up as the Lord swore. You know, it all, that was all part of prophecy. That's man. that balance, like the brother was just speaking about. You got two fears. Hey, with the it's two powers. It's two entities that balance out this world. Jacob versus Esau. Them is the main two characters right now. All right, them have always been the main two characters. Mm -hmm. All right? Shit, pretty much, you know? The antagonist and the protagonist. Kind of, exactly. The yin yeah. and the yang, you know? Real quick, just to prove what you're saying. Uh, Sirach 33 and 13. As the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his, at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as like it him best. Mm -hmm. Good is set against evil mm -hmm. and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. So look upon all the works of the Most High. And there are two and two, one against another. That's that perfect balance. Right. Because a false balance, uh, an unjust balance and a false balance is an abomination unto the Heavenly Father, right. man. He created everything. Yet. He got a left-hand side and a right-hand side when it comes to the angels. All right? Even with the physical. He got the righteous. He got the he got the wicked. He has to have that balance. He ain't gonna just have everything one way. It's not gonna happen like that. Uh, in, in our kingdom, like, we're gonna be on top. The other nations on the bottom. It, you know. So you was about to say something. Yeah, kind of just like we, uh, we brought out the wisdom of Solomon. It says those that um, put their trust in the Lord shall understand the truth, mm -hmm. and that's part of the truth. Understanding that balance, and that's why a lot of yeah. people say all oh, they say the scriptures contradict itself. You know, or um, That's a beautiful point. the Lord doesn't kill people or whatever. You know, when the Lord yeah. brings judgment on people, well, you got to think about it. If you're reading the scriptures, 
not for face value, but to understand it, you know, then you're going to see, oh, okay, the Lord, he killeth and he maketh alive. He, he, he bringeth up and he bringeth down. All that is, you no, know, that's why Esau's playing the role he's playing and the, the counter part to that is Jacob. Hey, because what you said earlier when we was in the car, it was taught unto them, but it wasn't mixed with that faith. Okay. You know, so that understanding is out the window. That's that's what makes this truth special to us. And why we hold it so dear is because the Lord allow us to see these things, man. Right. All right. Like we, because the brother, can you read that about the uh, the works again? Yeah, yeah. This is uh. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works. Mm -hmm. And endings and effects and signs. Yep, them effects and them signs going back to that rain descending, them floods coming, the winds blowing, that beat upon the house. You got to have that solid foundation upon that rock. Go ahead, I. And everyone that shall be saved. And everyone that shall be saved. Go ahead. And shall be able to escape by his works. By his works. And by faith. And by faith, because they go hand in hand. If you have faith that the Lord is going to save you, you're going to do the works that show that you have faith that you're going to get saved. Right. You can't do one without the other, man. All right. You, if you have, if you believe in the works, you're going to do the works which is showing the faith. We, we never seen the heavenly Father. We didn't come down. You know, we, we, we wasn't walking in this incarnation. I'll say we wasn't walking with the Lord. But look at, look at everything we went through. Like we were saying earlier, we went from picking cotton and losing our heritage to getting our heritage back, man, to 2020 and seeing America fall before our eyes, man. When we was growing up in this world thinking this is all that it was, you, we just in this life and we just got bad luck, you know what I'm saying, before we found the truth. And then all, all of that became clear, man. And that's why we had to build our foundation upon that rock. By that faith, man. Okay. I got a quick precept. This is a second Ezra chapter one, verse thirty seven. It says, I take to witness the grace of the people to come, whose little ones rejoice in gladness, and though they have not seen me with bodily eyes, mm. yet in the spirit they believe <laughs> the thing that I say. Yes. Yes. Go ahead, you can you can break it down, bro. Like, so, cause we haven't seen we didn't we didn't see Jeremiah. We didn't see Isaiah. You know, but just like um, back in Hebrews 1, it says, faith is the substance of things to hope for, the evidence of things that have uh, not seen. Yeah. Uh, but I'm, now, <laughs> we get to see the evidence right now. Yeah. That's that's the beautiful part. That should be a faith increaser. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, we just went off the spirit because we, we believed. Yep. We had the faith that that's, what we were learning was that's it. That's what I was thinking of. Um, you know. And now that we get to see it, you know, it should increase your faith just that much more and make you want to go that much harder. Uh, I got to grab this right quick. Sorry, you Christians listening. We're not going to verse 16. <laughs> uh, this is John 3 and 17. It says, For the Most High sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father. And this is the condemnation, that the light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil, right? For everyone that doeth evil hated the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. And that's what's wrong with the world. Nobody's wrong. We got, we, we, the Lord allowed us to realize you're wrong. You don't know what you're doing down here. You need me. And we like, you're right. Sorry for everything I did. Yeah, we slip up here and there, but we acknowledge the fact that he exists. And we acknowledge the fact that we messed up. And we acknowledge the fact that he's the only one that can forgive us for the things that we did for us to receive salvation. I can't save none of these brothers. I can't forgive them for their sins against the heavenly father. Like, I got you. Like, no, no lawyer can, can help you in the court of the heavenly father, man. It's not going to be, ha it's not, it can't happen. All right. But the people out there, they don't believe in the heavenly father. Therefore, they just do what they want to do. All right. They don't want their works to be seen because that light is going to reprove it. All right. And that's why I said choose you this day who you will serve, man. 
kind. Because Jake is going to serve whatever makes them happy in the flesh, and you can see it. You That's know? that evidence that they can't see. Exactly. Jake needs something tangible. Something tangible. Exactly. All right? I got a real quick one for y'all. Kind. Hey, John 20 and 29. Yahweh I said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, <laughs> thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yes. yet have believed. Yep. So, so, you know, it's going back to what the bro had brought out. Karate had brought out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we're blessed because, and those men of the elect, they, they're, they're blessed because they haven't seen the Most High mm -hmm. or His Son with their own eyes in the latter days, man. God. You see? But that faith is still intact. Yeah. And that's what the Most High is looking for. He's looking for that, that faith, that faith that uh, supersedes the carnal world, man, or, yeah. or this flesh. God. And then that's that's that fight. That's that fight between you know the flesh war the again the spirit war against the flesh, man. Exactly. Because your flesh, when he when you know this, the scriptures say this is going to be a time like never before. So all the stories we didn't read, all the movies we didn't seen, all the thoughts we didn't thought of, you know, it's going to be a time like never before, right? You you really have to trust in the heavenly Father because your flesh gonna be like, man, fuck that, let's get that chip. We can eat, be cool, because you don't, hey, this man can come at so many angles. You see all the things that's being set up? Yeah. You know, he can come at so many angles. He can just blame you for some terrorist shit and, and lock you up in Gitmo. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so many things that, because he's, he's, he's the devil, man. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. He's the devil, and that's what he does. Right. Right? You ever seen that movie, Unthinkable? If you haven't, check it out. Yeah. They... You can't tell me you're making a movie like that and y'all don't do that, all right? But that's what that's why you have to have, you got to think about Daniel, all right? You got to think about uh, uh, Char, uh, Shardrack, Meshach, and Abednego. They like, man, look, we don't know what's going to happen, but we ain't bound down to that, all right? The Lord had, what was it? I believe it was Hananiah, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it was Hananiah. But he had it to where he said, go take Daniel some food in Babylon. He like, I ain't never been to Babylon. I don't know how to get there. He had an angel snatch him up by his hair to take him some food. Was it Habakkuk? It was Habakkuk, kind of. And he, he's like, yeah, Hananiah was one of, one of the uh, Shardai Meshach. Yeah, that was one of their real names. Yeah. But David was in there with lions. <laughs> like, he in there with lions. Like, we about to, uh, man. Daniel. Yeah, yeah kind of, I said David, huh? <laughs> I'm, I'm just thinking too fast, man. I'm getting yeah. excited about it. Like, because you got to, you, you know. And, and, but, you know, just to go on that, David killed the lion. You know, that which is kind of a, a feat of uh, spiritual power. Yeah, you got to have trust in the Heavenly Father uh -huh. going to fight a lion. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. kind of. All right, let's get back to him. Uh. That was it to that. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna read this Matthew's right quick. Uh, finish this. It says Matthew seven and twenty six. It says, and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not, so you hear, you hear them and you do them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand, and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell and great was the fall of it. Right. So you knew what to do. But you didn't do it. All right. You was warned. And that's why the Lord got this word to go through the four corners of the earth. So when you get in that judgment seat, you can't be like, I didn't know. There is no, I didn't know. Oh, dope. We were supposed to listen to the guys on the corner. Like, yeah, come on. Yeah. I, I told you in the scriptures, my word was going to go out. And that's how the Lord do. He's, uh, he's going to have it to where everybody get a chance. But on, only the, the only his sheep is going to hear his voice, as the scriptures say. All right. Um, one second. Oh, this Romans guy. This is uh, Romans five and one. It says, "Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with the Most High through our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand." And rejoice in hope of the glory of the heavenly Father, because that we got that faith by what by the Lord, all right, by Him bringing us back to the heavenly Father. If He wouldn't have made that sacrifice, who would know where we would be at? Okay, 
It says, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. All right, the things that you go through. That's why you go on your way to work and you get a flat tire. That's why you got baby mama drama. That's why you got bills coming in and, and, and you still got this bag with holes in it, you know? Because of those things is going to build up your patience to what's coming, right? The, the Lord putting you through these little tests so you can pass those so he can bring those bigger tests. That's what happened in school. They put people in AP classes. This work is too easy for you. We got to But, hey, when you level up, though, guess who else level up? Them demons level up, you know? Responsibility levels up, okay? It says in patience experience. Because you didn't have to, the, you didn't have, was able to endure to, through those things. So, you know, when it comes to you next time, you know how to handle it. All right. Bring one situation, how you handle it to another situation. Yeah, I ain't going to flip out. Last time I was just wasting energy. I ain't get to get down my lessons because men, such and such, whoever was arguing. So when, when some negativity come your way this time, you just blow it off. You know, you have that experience now and that experience is going to bring in that hope. It's going to keep you, because what you've been saying all day, brother, uh, 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 about guilt, the doubt. and uh, guilt, guilt leads to doubt. Doubt leads to uh, unbelief. Belief. Yep. So, because <laughs> yeah. what happened when we slip up, we like, man, ain't no way. That's in our mind. We got that. Ain't no way I can bounce back from this. But the Lord got the scriptures out there, man. You know, you, you fall seven, uh, a wise man, what, fall seven times? You got to get back up, man. That's having that faith. Having, trusting in Yahweh Bashim Shai that he's there, he's He's going to give you that chance. Oh, that's all you can do is keep moving forward. What you going to, oh, slip. I'm going to just go back in the world. Like, no. You got to keep moving forward, man. It says, and hope make it not a shame. So what if you got to give up the world? You have hope in Yahweh Bashim Shai. You got to make some type of sacrifice. You got to make all type of sacrifices, matter yeah. of fact. All right? Not just one. You got to make all type of sacrifices. You know? Become that new creature that he made. You got to become mm -hmm. that kind. Good point. Yep. That's that's getting rid of a whole identity. Yeah, that's <laughs> you a know? process, too. And it's definitely a process. As you, the, the, higher, the, the, the longer you stay in this truth, you start to figure out the certain things that you had to, you know what I'm saying, uh, purge for yourself. It talks about that in Galatians, the third chapter. It talks about the certain attributes we used to, or the things we used to do, sleep with another man's woman, commit, you know, all types of abominations. He said, well, for you used to do, but now put off these things, wrath, mm -hmm. maliciousness, uh -huh. things of that nature, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's a part of becoming that new creature. Yeah. You know? Kind of. And, and seemingly, these, uh, as you, you know, as, as your life is prolonged and it's truth that, these demons are getting more sophisticated, where the truth is going to always going to remain the same, man. Yep. And that's that's the foundation. That's what you lean back on. You know, that's what you go back to. You know, you don't overthink things, but go what 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 you you lose back to what the scriptures say. You back to the basics. Yep. You know, you ain't gotta throw <laughs> what the brother eyeball you saying. You ain't gotta throw like a, a Superman punch or a roundhouse kick. <laughs> go just go back to the basic. You know, you ain't gotta do a flying arm bar. Mm -hmm. Get back in your stance. Throw that one two. Throw that jab till that's working. You know, and you know, build from there, man. Yep. Now, oh, he got a good shot. I'm about to do this. <laughs> no, man, you gonna get caught. Yeah, now I gotta play catch up. Yeah. Man. Yep. Come. <laughs> It says, uh, because the love of the Most High is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. And that came by the, the Lord's sacrifice, man. That came by his sacrifice. That, that's the comforter. He's the comforter, man. All right? that That's the one that came to comfort us. Okay? Did y'all have anything? No, no. Okay. Um, I got like two more over here. Huh? Go back to Matthew. Oh, I, Did you finish? Yeah, kind. I have finished it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because great, yep, great was the fall of it. All right. So, um, this one did I? This is uh Psalms five and eleven. It says, uh, but let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. You gotta believe that he's gonna look out for you. 
But you got to put your trust in him first. He's not just going to, I'll save you. Like, no. You got to have a positive mindset. You, that, that, exactly. The scriptures are, it's a number one self-help book. You know, a lot of times we look at this, this, this walk of ours as very gloomy. But in order to believe what we believe in, you have to have an immense amount of faith. Think about what we believe in, brothers. You believe a, a, a black guy uh, with, with a, a UFO is going to come and save you. To the world, that sounds crazy, but to us, that sounds on point. Why yeah. is that? Because we have ultimate faith in these scriptures. Yep. You see? But if you are, are looking at this thing tangibly, you know what I'm saying, or looking at the things that you don't have, then you'll fall out, bro. You'll, you'll give up, especially with the times that we're coming into. Yeah. This is where you need them most. That, but... <laughs> It says there, if you read it, if you, can you read that one more time? Kind of. Psalms 5 and 11, it says, but let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Hey, it says put, rejoice. All those that put their trust in, in thee rejoice. When we, when we see all these things going on with COVID-19, what do we do? All of us can attest to it. We rejoice yep. to your how by from your Why is that? Because we know, hey, we, we about to get out of here, bro. <laughs> it, it's close. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, we know that we know, we understand in depth, like, how hard it's gonna get out of here because you understand this prophecy. Yep. But we are light years ahead of everybody else. Uh, you got people that uh, that's already weak minded that are committing suicide now, man. Yeah, they said it was like more deaths in uh, one of them states, more suicide deaths than than people dying from COVID nineteen. Yeah, you know, and they're just they're, they're dying from pure dis disparity or, or really a lot of that's accidental suicides, drinking themselves to death, taking too many pills. Mm. Living in straight debauchery, man. Yeah. You know? And and actually and then someone were actually killing themselves because of pure depression. Kind. Versus us, we were, on the flip side of that, man, we were rejoicing. You got brothers out there losing jobs, have family, things of that nature. But we know that the end thing, that the end game is us getting delivered out of here, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that takes you having a positive mindset. Yep. Trusting in your power, man. Says, let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee, man. That's right. All right, you gotta and, and loving the name and just like I like how that sound. No, it's giving reverence and respect to that name, giving right. respect to that person, to that entity. Okay, because you got people that don't think the name matters. Why wouldn't the name matters? All right. When they was, didn't they call on Captain Planet to come? You know what I'm saying? Like, they ain't just, hey, come on, man, help us. Like, no, they had to go through that dramatic <laughs> scene, you know what I'm saying? You know, the Godzilla cartoon, he got to hit the button. They're calling on these people, you know? But since you mentioned uh, Captain Planet, they fought before they called Captain Planet, though. They did everything mm, that they could they, do yeah. in their power. Yep. And then when they needed him, that's yeah. when. That's a good point yeah, because good point. it's not like you can just sit back and do nothing and then just call them. Those gonna be them people, but I prophesied in thy name. You like I never knew thee. You know them. They gonna roll because it's not like oh I got the name I'm good. Like no, no. There's work to this. Like we were saying earlier, going on the highways. Yeah, that's nice. Being a brother. Yeah, that's nice, man. But you got work to do. You got sacrifices that have to be made. You got you're building a whole character to rule the world. By your how about Shimia was shy, man. That's the hardest thing that society in this society is to break yourself down and build yourself up, man. But through your how about Shimia was shy, we have that. Okay, we have that foundation. We have each other. Two are better than one. That's right. Right. That's, See, right. that's why we bring our our deeds to the light so they can be reproved. <laughs> So we can know what we're doing wrong, what we need to work on, man. All right? That's right. It says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. What are you, what are you, what are you basing that? What are you basing that uh, fresh mind on when you're basing it on the scriptures, man? Yep. You see? And it takes when you're going through certain trials and tribulations. That's when you're supposed to shine. That's when your faith is supposed to be seen, man. Not when everything is going well, mm -hmm. but in, in times of adversity, God. that's when you show your your characteristics of a, of a, of a the, the characteristics of a righteous man. Yep, you know, <laughs> things the spirit. Uh, this is the book of Sirach, chapter two, and verse five. Mm. It says, "For gold is tried in the fire, 
an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. Man, can you read about the first one? That's crazy. I, I had that too. Oh, man. oh, hey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's spear rolling. Spear. So the second, uh, so the second. This is uh, Sirach 2 and 1. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. If you come to serve, to serve the Lord, prepare your Lord, your, your uh, soul for temptation. That means yes. you're yeah. going to want to result back to the old way of doing things. Somebody get on your nerves, somebody cut you off, you ready to jump out the car. What's up? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Going back to the old ways, man. Being hot nature. Or whatever. Whatever your vice is, man. You have to prepare your soul into doing what the will of the Heavenly Father is, man. And that takes you st staying in that spiritual gym, working out that, uh, 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 working out your your soul, man. Yep. Reading, staying in tune. You know, <clears throat> in the boxing gym they had a phrase: if you ain't boxing, then you cheating. Mm. You know, boxing boxing is like your wife. If you if you ain't in a boxing gym, you basically cheating on your wife. Hmm. Well, convert that over to the scriptures. If you ain't in the scriptures, you know what I'm saying. In a lot of ways, you are cheating on your wife. Cause what is what is what is your wife? It's bodily speaking, yep. it's wisdom. Uh -huh. So you have to always constantly uh, be in the mode of refining yourself, man, and also building yourself up. Yep. Go ahead, huh? set thy heart aright and constantly endure. And make not haste in time of trouble. That's right. Make not haste in time of trouble. Being uh, uh, wavery. It talks about that in James, the <clears> first <throat> chapter, man. Yeah. You see? If, if, if any man uh, lack anything, let him ask to the Most High who give it freely. But think not that he will receive anything, you know what I'm saying, if, if he has a, a, basically a double mind. Always wavering, man. Yeah. For a double mind is unstable in all his ways. Yeah. Going back and forth. John. You see? So you have to be firm. Your foundation has to be firm like the brother brought out in Matthew the 7th chapter and what you believe. You see? Despite the things that you're going through. Because the most high will take you through, through things, man. You he know? have to. <laughs> he have to. He yeah. gotta, we got to be tried to be refined, man. Yep. He got to see what you're about. <clears throat> says, cleave unto him and depart not away. That thou mayest be increased at thy last end. That's right. So when things ain't looking so good for the home team, that's when you got to buck it down the most. Mm -hmm. And believe that Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is going to save you. Uh -huh. It says, what, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. That word cheerful, if you look it up, it basically means having, being positive. That doesn't mean walking around being uh, uh, corny. Yeah, <laughs> you know, but now just having a positive mindset, you know, not being droopy the dog, you know, Jake. Yeah, uh, yeah, that droopy was on hell. Oh, I'm just catching, I'm just catching hell, bro. <laughs> we we woe, all catching hell. That woe is me. Spirit. Yeah, we all catch hell, man. Yeah, that's what I'm starting to figure out. You just, you just catching your own hell. Yeah, you, you know. Sometimes you think that your hell is worse than other brothers. Brothers is catching their own hell, like the brother said. Yeah, because he said he's not going to put you through nothing that you can't handle. That's what I was just First Corinthians said. 10, 13. And he's always going to give you a way out. So your hell is going to be different than somebody else's hell. Because some brothers can handle other things that other brothers can't. can't. You know? So nobody's catching more or less hell than anybody. We're all, we're catching hell. It's tailor made for <laughs> you. Know? It's yep. tailor made yeah. for you. Time. That's right. You according to his deeds. That's right. The only way you can beat it is by going through it. That's the only way you can get it, uh, get through it by going through it. That makes sense. Handle it. You know what I'm saying? Depend on somebody else for their faith. That's not going to work. It's all about what you believe in. This thing of ours is an is individual walk. You see what I'm saying? When you see birds flying in the air, it's a, it's a term called emergence. There is no leader necessarily. Mm. All of them are doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're in unity. It talks about that in, in uh, for, uh, uh, what's that? Philippians 2 and 12, man. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. But if you read up, it talks about being brotherly. Yep. So this thing of ours has, is it's having uh, deep self-responsibility, man. Your foundation has to be firm. Now within your foundation being firm, 
you influence other people. But it all starts with yourself, man. Because the Most High is building what? He's building up kings and priests. Man of judgment. So in order for you to have that judgment, you have to defeat or, 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 or go through these certain trials and tribulations in your life, man. So you get that understanding, bro. It says, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Right? It says, believe in him and he will help you. That's right. Hey, he said, uh, gold is fire and trial, so is man in, uh, in adversity, man. You're going to go through some things in your life. You will be like, man, something back your man, my God, is not feeling me. Most of ain't feeling me. Then you got you to gotta fight that off. Like, nah, he's, hey. It is what it is. I, I got to go through this, man. Uh -huh. You know? I, I say something. The Lord didn't give us a spirit of doubt, you know? And, and we got to we gotta fight through things. Because things happen. Things happen that are, that that's supposed to pull you back that reveals your character, you know? And, and, and it's all a character test. Because when the Lord said he's going to sift, how do you think that sifting is happening? Through turmoil, tribulation. And a lot of people quit, you know, a lot of people quit and the, the real worshipers will stay because like he said, if I will say these parables plainly, everybody just believe, you know, same thing with these, with getting into the kingdom of heaven, it's a straight, straight and narrow gate, you know, it's very hard. It's a lonely path. No matter how many brothers we got, it's still a lonely path, you know, um, what was it, Lisha? Uh, I get Lisha Isaiah mixed up, but he he felt lonely, and the Lord had to correct him and tell him, "Look, it's it's a it's um it's a bunch of men out here who haven't bowed a knee to the image of all. It's mm -hmm. not him being selfish, but man, it, it's lonely because you got your own afflictions that you got to get through. We as brothers can help um, alleviate, but we can't get you there, you know." Everybody got their own individual demons that they're fighting, own own afflictions that they're fighting, but we all racing for that for the one prize, you know. And we gotta stay focused and have that mental fortitude. You lose a leg, you got uh, sickle cell anemia, you you know your woman's stressing you. Things are telling me to throw us off, and ain't nothing but Satan. Because one of Satan's ultimate goals is to obstruct you from abiding to the Lord's will because Satan can't stop the Lord's will but he can stop you from staying on track from it and that's always his attack you know mm -hmm. Good. damn I'm getting this preset based off what you said uh, this is uh, Matthew 7 and 13 it says enter ye in at the straight gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many there be that go in their wrath because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. You know, so as you mentioned, you know, um, it's, 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 it's lonely, man. It's a lonely road to take. A lot of people are scared to take the route, that, that straight gate, man. Because, well, like like you mentioned, they, they don't want their, their ways to be reproved. They want to stay in that darkness. You know, it's, it's, so you're never going you're never gonna go through the straight gate because you're avoiding all the things that you have to go through to be um right. to uh, to uh, to be considered uh, worthy of how about Shemuel was shy, you know. Yeah, our, our way of life is um very straight and narrow. Go go to your job and, and our way of life is taboo. Go to your job and, and wear your garments. Go to your job and and say you know my name is Rod. You know go go anywhere and, and, and just be yourself, and it ain't gonna work too well. So it's, very, it's a very secluded straight, and that's why the brotherhood is so relieving, and, and we hold such a bond. My rib gets upset and be like, you got you hang with them all the time. It's like, we got things in common. I'm like, what is that? The truth. <coughs> you know, this is the only place where we can really relax and say yes, wow. be ourselves and say everything that's on our mind. Whether, you know, you're venting to let a brother know your, your problems, and that brother's going to give you sound judgment. You know, yeah. not that judgmental look, you know, um, when you're going to go to the doctor, you know, oh, you got high cholesterol, I want you to take this pill, that pill. No, you go to a brother, he's going to say, take some garlic, take some turmeric, you know, 
these things. We, so we're dealing with these straights, but it's straight out there. Our, it, within a, within the brotherhood, it, it, it gives us that freedom and that liberty. Mm -hmm. And the Lord bless us with that because if we was really by ourselves, man, we... <laughs> Whoa, man. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, man. Yeah. It'd be hard, man. I, yeah. I, I had one patch missing on my head. You know, I grow a beard. I can't grow a beard, but I grow one just to <laughs> but I was. You know, it, 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 yeah. it's, it's stressful, you know, being alone. As Pastor Ricard told me a while back that, you know, sometimes we get into that, uh, through the afflictions, we get into like a, a depressed state in it. And it makes you want to get secluded, mm. you know. And mm. it was like, that's what Satan wants. He wants to get you by yourself. Because we always have them, them uh, negative thoughts at times. Mm -hmm. And when you're by yourself, it's just you and Satan and those negative thoughts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you hell of on them. Mm -hmm. You know, because we're not always just on level 10 and strong. You know, if that was the case, we would be kicking ass way more than what we're doing. We're doing a mighty work. But we'd be doing better if you had 100 you know, and we're yeah. not always there. You know, you can read that with Psalms. David wasn't always there. He was low. He was happy. He, he was adamant. He was a warrior. You know, you can see the level of uh, emotional states he was in throughout these Psalms. And that's the same with us. We get into those emotional states. And then when the scripture said, for thrice strong is hardly broken. You know, so we're there for each other's afflictions. We're there for each other's counsels. And, um, uh, Ultimately, Yahweh Shai is there for us, you know, because we need Yahweh Shai desperately. There's no, there's no way we're going to be able to make it through this until, you know, without his counsel talking to us, too, you know. <clears throat> That's all you had to that? Huh. I mean, anybody had any more points? Hey, with that, we want to give all praises to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, 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 Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Blessings to the elect of Yasha'ala, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And blessings to and salutation to you, Akim, out there and during this truth across the four, uh, four corners of the earth, as well as you women and children that follow. Shalom. Shalom.